going on everybody? This is Robert and today I have a lesson in kind of just um, position shifting, moving around the guitar um, fluidly and everything because whenever you're thinking of switching positions it, it means you're going to be like playing say up here and then you can shift to any other position. like able to do that real fluidly so I came up with an exercise that kind of it's kind of like an exaggerated almost position shift like I'm, I've never really ran into a situation where I would use this lick but I mean look at Steve I like I mean the stuff he does is like absolutely ridiculous but the lick is just out of A minor, it's A minor pentatonic, so if you don't um, know your A minor scale, this is the pentatonic scale that I will be using. Okay, and all you got here is, you see, you got your A, you got your B sharp, what else, you got a D, E, G, A. But what you're going to be doing is just sticking to the high E and the B string. So the lick slow sounds like this. And it's even going to work on your sliding a little bit too. Um, some of the tricky things that are going to be in it is, is I, I'd like everything to be picked. Every note is picked. So that's kind of tough, but if you can't pick it at first, like, there's nothing wrong with starting out using just hammer-ons and pull off. Like, that's fine too. But there's some fairly decently large shifts. I mean, this one's pretty big. You get on here, but the really, like, extreme one is when you go all the way back up here. So up to speed, this lick should sound like this. So like I said, not exactly the most practical of licks, but it still has some musical like aspects to it and everything so it's not really something chromatic you I mean you could use this in a jam session or anything so I'll kind of let me walk you through exactly what I'm doing here okay so the trick to this lick is gonna be getting comfortable sliding so you kinda in your head have to be thinking, you know, where you're going to be sliding to. So, the first part of it is you go to the 8th fret on the high E, and you're going to pick, and you're going to go to the 5th fret, and you're going to go to the B and do 8-5, and you're going to slide from the 8th on the high E to the 10th, and you're going to pick the 8th fret, so... Pick 10 8 on the B. Oops, if I didn't hit bad notes. Okay, so that's the first part. If, if that is already kind of feeling like a little bit challenging for you and everything, just try doing that one alone. Just okay, so then the next step you're going to slide from that 10 on the high E all the way down to 5 on the high E and then you're going to pick the 3rd fret and then do 5-3 on the B so. <laughs> I'm playing terribly so then after this one, you're going to slide from the 5th fret on the high E all the way up to the 12th fret on the high E. 
And like I said, these are all pentatonic shapes. I'm just sticking to the pentatonic on the two strings. So you slip up to the twelfth on the high E, then you're gonna pick the tenth on the high E, and then go thirteen ten on the B. And then the lick repeats itself. So I'll play the whole thing for you real slow. Just something that maybe you can play along with. So this is what it sounds like slow. up a little bit. Okay, and then you're almost up to speed. Alright, so hopefully that can help you with your um, position shifting and everything. And it's, it's kind of like a, a tongue twister almost, because the way you're sliding around on the fretboard and everything. But I do hope that that lesson helps you guys and everything. And if you would like more lessons on this, or like a part two or something, um, feel free to ask for it. I'm sure I could um, look at this and try to turn it into, you know, a part two or something. So, thank you for watching my video. Man, my throat's killing me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I've been sick, so I gotta take a drink of water. Okay, I got my manly voice back. But anyways, um, thanks for watching the video and everything. If you can, subscribe. Um, like me on Facebook if you want. Um, that's probably the best way, just like if you're wanting to like chat about music and stuff. Just hit me up on there. And that link will be below in the description. But, you know, peace out, guys. Rock on! And I'll see you guys later with the next video.